I grew up the eldest of five children in a country town in South Australia to a selfless nurse mother and an entrepreneurial father. I was a perfectionist, high achieving good girl and ran different businesses from aged 18, including a physiotherapy company for 21 years. I'm married with three children and currently run a coaching business called Soul Pleaser. I'm also a part owner and wellbeing coach for the Farm Owners Academy. I published my first book in July 2022 called From People Pleaser to Soul Pleaser, Six Steps to Being Who You Are Meant to Be. I have always wanted to write a book for as long as I can remember. I think I was very young when I was first reading the Edith Blyton series. In my early 30s, when I was pregnant with my second child, I did a journalism diploma to improve my writing skills. Then in my 40s, I did a course about how to write fiction and started a science fiction book that I never finished. In my late 40s, when my mother passed away, my grief prompted me to examine the drivers behind my incessant need to succeed, which caused me to work all the time and neglect important relationships. I started by writing a course which I taught to hundreds of people over five years. As I witnessed the impact this course had on so many people, I decided to turn the course into a book so that I might be able to help more people. Experts warned me not to reveal the whole story of my course in a book in case it prevented people from doing the coaching course, and so I hesitated for a year or so. I went to a retreat with best-selling author Neil Donald Walsh as a gift to myself for my 50th birthday, and he endorsed the idea. So I started writing that year. I completed the first draft in nine months, and then I hesitated on publishing for another two years. Finding the time with a busy coaching business and family was my excuse, but fear of the book not being good enough was the true reason I wasn't getting on with it. In January 2022, I got COVID and isolated away from the family for 10 days, which gave me plenty of time. I started working with an editor during those days and published six months later. Through the work I've done in my coaching business, I have witnessed profound changes in people's lives. And I love the idea of being able to share that information with someone on the other side of the world who I will never know, to make a difference to someone's life without needing any recognition for it. My research process was my coaching business. I had so many stories to use about the people I've worked with, including my own story. Although I used different names, I shared the stories with everyone included in my book to make sure they approved. The structure of the six steps outlined in my book had already been created when I developed the course. I knew that the shift people experience changes every aspect of their lives. And so for the first part of the book covered how giving up people pleasing and becoming a soul pleaser would impact relationships, health and career and money. I also included a chapter about how to know if and when people pleasing is a problem because so many people I've worked with were concerned that they wouldn't be a nice person if they stopped people pleasing. Part two outlines the six steps to make the shift from people pleaser to soul pleaser and part three paints the picture of what life is like as a soul pleaser. Be yourself. Meditate or do something that causes you to feel inspired so that you can tap into that creative energy that will allow the words to spill out on the page in front of you. It is a delicious experience, one that can't be forced, but one that must be repeatedly started. I am proud of my book and it was definitely worth the effort. I receive messages daily from people who are benefiting from the words on the pages and that was my intention, which brings me immeasurable satisfaction.